Welcome back to another episode of Jurassic Survival. Today, we return, ladies and gents, and we are on a quest to finish the last of Hunter Kane's tasks. Barry Annex is getting our way. Deal with them. I will do the best that I can. I hope that you guys are doing the best that you can. Have absolutely a fan for fantastic day out of most amazing variety. Uh, before we do some of that, though, A, we're going to see if the Baryonyx is here. If it is, then we're going to head over and try to take him out using the weaponries that we have currently on our hands. Ooh, that looks a little bit handy. Yes, there's a Baryonyx. So I'm kind of tempted to do the Baryonyx first and then head on up uh, there and try to do some jazz. I'm just trying to think if we have enough weapons to do enough damage to that thing. Because, uh, I don't know. Here, like, ah, we do have a lot of pistols and we should be able to finish him off using the barrette if we can't we might need to whip out another gun but that's the thing i really don't have to i really don't want to have to whip out another gun and also probably some more healing items uh speaking of healing items we don't really have anything super amazing we did have a couple of first aid kits we might need to cop those but uh, without further ado actually you know what i might want to do is actually grab a battle axe too before we do that but today we also have some awesome stuff to talk about because twitter the twitter of our lads over at jurassic survival has been quite active uh, including first off this thing that they posted uh, on the 23rd i believe just a little bit of a post a little bit of a news update regarding what's going on and what's coming in update 1.1 probably this weekend guys we are happy to see your interest in the process of the jurassic survival development and are ready to share our plans regarding coming up day 1.1 with you we have some surprises we are going to tell you about today without revealing too much of course one of the main features of jurassic survival is player interaction with representatives of the world update 1.1 features development of relations with hunters that you are already familiar with that desperately need additional support the wall found recently wasn't built for decoration in 1.1, there will be a new strategically important location where you will have to find special tasks and will be able to combine hunting with hard work. Only one tip is left. Take some firm backpack with you. So uh, lots of loot potentially. The mechanics of defensive fights from update 1.0.7 proved itself and we decided to take the idea further. In new tasks, you will have to act as a defender again, but the goals and allies will be different. The defense will be more flexible so that everyone can choose the best difficulty mode for themselves. You will learn new coming opportunities and details from the description of patch 1.1 that's already coming. Follow our official community. See you soon. So that right there sounds like some freaking awesome sauce in the pipe. Cooking up, just cooking it up in the pot straight in the kitchen, man. So out of that, a update 1.1, which is huge because this means this is going to be the biggest update that Jurassic Survival has seen to date. If you look over here, you can see, oh, never mind, the wall, the wall spanning here. Never mind, for some reason when I loaded in, the wall was like all blacked out and it was really weird. And I'm like, spoopy. No, it looks like the spoopiness has faded away. And what the, where'd, where'd the Baryonyx go? Oh, never mind. I, I was totally just losing track of where everything is. There's the Baryonyx. Uh, but that's really awesome news. And the way they're making it sound like they're making it sound like uh, the wall is going to be a new some sort of defensive event. My best guess is maybe you have to build an elevator, go up to the top of the wall and literally defend the wall from the top of it. Honestly, could 100% totally see that happening. And as we do know, they are going to get rid of the invasion event and the current hunter's quest line. But my best guess is that th that base camp that they've been teasing that we've talked about in the past couple of Jurassic survival videos my best guess is that that base camp is going to be the hunters faction because I'm guessing that their goal the goal of the entire faction is probably to defend the wall against the evil ne'er-do-wells known as the dinosaurs or something like that but it sounds like a whole ton of stuff coming that I'm very excited about and I'd love to hear your guys thoughts on this what are you most excited for of what we know so far I'm just dude 1.1 that is awesome news it's gonna be the biggest update that Jurassic survival has gotten yet and I'm so hyped and that I hope that you guys are as well just like how uh, holy death is probably hyped to come home and ambush me well i wonder if i'll even be i probably will because i do want to finish the baryonyx quest uh today but this is not the last of it that is right boys and girls there's more so if you guys take a peek right here, you can see some sort of a mystery blueprint that Jurassic Survival also posted. And as soon as we're done talking about this, and then one more quick thing after that, we'll start heading into the Baryonyx and the Battle Royales. But you can see some sort of a mystery blueprint that's been posted. And I don't know, from looking into it, it looks like, to me, it looks like it, it kind of seems like it has a hand crank that you hand crank. So, and you can also see some like gasoline barrels or something like that. So I'm guessing that maybe this is like a fuel generator or something. I like, I'm not, I, I'm, I really 100% 
100% do not know. But it looks like some stuff goes in and it, I, there's a fuel can. There's some just it's a whole type of contraction. But it is going to be a new blueprint, which is very exciting to see. And potentially it will be my best guess important in the wall update. But dude, I'm like, this is going to be a big update. This is going to be the first big update of Jurassic Survival. And I hope that they add in a plethora of things that we can then hop into. And maybe we'll start making Jurassic Survival every other day instead of every three days. If there's like that much stuff to do, you know, we'll have to see. But uh, I really, I, it, it just looks like it has a ton of like gas cans. So either it's gas power, but I see a hand crank, which is what confuses me. Or it's like creating gas. I could see it going both ways and it looks like you have to shovel some stuff in. I'd, I'd, like I said, I'd love to hear from you guys what your thoughts are on this because I'm really kind of, I'm iffy on this and usually y'all are pretty freaking creative and actually pretty freaking correct along with that. And then finally we have this. Man, it was a big shot is the caption on Twitter. So that's a caption for what appears to be some sort of an animation that a dude will duck when there's like a massive shot so maybe they're adding in some sort of a massive gun or i don't know dude my best guess it's gonna be something that happens at the wall event i don't know maybe we show up there and then like a mat like someone shoots a massive gun to take down a massive dino coming in i don't know and then this animation plays but uh, that's the best guess that i got for now now we gotta suit up and be prepared because this is gonna get ugly lads oh it's not gonna be pretty i'll tell you that now but uh and then back to that topic on 1.1 they did say we need a big backpack too so i wonder if there's gonna be a lot of loot which makes me think that the wall might be like the jurassic survival's version of the bunker which actually would be super cool and super awesome for jurassic survival but with all of that said like i said i'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on here this is jazz now we want to go and uh, interview mr baryonyx and get his thoughts on some of this stuff of course we're going to use my favorite uh, interviewing method of bullets and hopefully we don't smell too bad too soon because on the going we'll get super rough and hopefully we can get this nice little sneak attack off on this guy can i get multiple sneak attacks i don't know uh, this thing does a lot of damage uh, dude it, you can actually do the sneak attack glitch i think every if i like crouch after a shot oh dude this game never fixed the sneak attack glitch because this is based off of like i think old last day on earth code dude this is amazing for saving our guns hold on hold on stop hitting me baryonyx god dang it dude check that out Although our thing is about to break, so whoop, 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 flee! Now we gotta flee, whip out the P90. Ooh, I got the rhymes, boy. And speaking of rhymes, uh, let's also put that stuff into there so we can start dealing with him. This thing really does like no damage. I, the P90 is an abomination, but it's an abomination that I gotta be happy with because it's all I got. And it's definitely what I wanna use before we have to use like the big guns. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think we can bring him down to 1500 health before he enters phase two we got him down quite a little bit there we honestly dude next time i'm just gonna bring more melee weapons i think that that might be like the best move moving forward so we're gonna try to get him as close as we can to 1500 and then we whip out the barrette and then we take out the baryonyx do some battle royales and uh, hopefully by the time we're done with those uh, We'll have another one. Get out of here, Saber. Oh, no. He entered He entered the regeneration mode. Okay, let's do that. Oh, no, no, no. Not now. Get out of here, Saber Tooth. I don't want to kill you. Yo, oh, okay. I had to kill you. Oh, my God. Why? You forced me to do this. You forced me. It's like how this Baryonyx is forcing me to use a better gun than I want to use to have to kill him. But so be it. All right. For the sake of the quest, for the sake of some dope hunter boots, I'll do it. And actually, oh, mama, this is not good. This is not good. We might want to uh, finish him off with a little bit of pistol drizzle. Keep pistoling, please. Will this be enough to take him down? He's not regenerating too much. Down goes the Baryonyx and in goes some of those phalanges. Whatever those are. Hopefully we get some good weapons out of that. Actually, dude, if we have a... You know what? I'll go ahead and A, actually loot up some of these berries for healing purposes. Because I would love to heal. And a B, I'll, I guess I'll check out what the chests have. Usually they're pretty lackluster though. And I'm not trying to get jumped by some dude while we're here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hopefully we can get some medical supplies. Hopefully we end up placing really well and doing really well in the battle royales. You can see here we got three dog tags plus the one that we'll get. And then uh, we should be able to go right back to the Baryonyx. And it'll be a quick trip because the Baryonyx is really close to the battle royale camp. So, and if things go well, maybe we'll even be able to get two more quests knocked out if they're easy enough. Ow, freaking Ordioli. I haven't had to deal with you in a while, you freaking dental disease. Dude, that's honestly what the name it reminds me of. It reminds me of some sort of like advanced name for like a cavity. Speaking of that, oh mama, I gotta go to the dentist. Oh, I haven't been to the dentist like seven months, dude. That dude's gonna find cavities all over the place. I mean, I eat rather healthy, I like to think. 
<laughs> I ain't fooling anybody with that. No, I, I, I don't. Okay, I don't know about eating healthy, but I keep the calories where they ought to be. Like maybe my cholesterol's a little bit too high. Maybe my arteries are clogged as bejesus. But hey, the calories are where they should be. So uh, at least I got that going for me. And this Baryonyx has nothing going for me because he is a dead man. Just like how, oh my God, no, the SWAT armor. This is why we got to do really well over here in Mad Dogs because uh, our armor situation is not looking good. And I need a better looking situation of the armor variety. You know what I'm saying? And then I do need, I need that thing to respawn. I don't remember how long it takes for a Baryonyx to respawn. I think it takes a wee beat. So we need to be a little bit cautious with that, but we should be rather good to go. Should being the key word. Should is a very key word a lot of times in my vocabulary. Hey, easy. Oh, man. Yeah, it's so easy to run out of here, you freaking dingus. Give me your shirt. Give me your... Actually, no. No, I don't want your shirt. Give me the dog tags, though. Bless up for that. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. You there, man. How, how is you doing? Hide. Mm. You know what? Looking at those prizes, I wouldn't mind a second place prize either, dude. You can get the uh, freaking... Look at that. You can get a really good rifle out of that. Third place is okay stuff, dude. First place is really good just because you're guaranteed not to get a melee weapon. And there's no battle axes guaranteed here either. Dude, Hyde is a freaking OG, though. Look at this little picture up there. Everyday gangsters come here. They can be a free entry to the arena for those. Look at what they lose. Yada, yada, yada. Whatever you have to say there. What do you have, my friend? Do you like, uh... He likes... 30 fangs! Yeah, no. No, I... <laughs> you want that much stuff for one dog tag? You are crazy, scavenger. That's, uh... That ain't happening. S hate to break it to you, but, um, that is a scam if I've ever heard of one. All right, buddy, into the arena we go. And good thing, because we do smell bad. So let's say if we get a second place, it's a double whammy. A, we get to respawn and thus not smell bad. And B, we still get a second place, dude. Chance at a sniper, chance at a really good rifle. Like, that's a win-win if you ask me. But now I don't care about win-wins. I just care about wins, period. Okay, hopefully we can have a great start because uh, lately the starts have been rather, uh, I, I, I think lackluster is a good word. Usually I just find like boots and uh, that's about it. And wow, this is not looking good. At least I got good boots so I can outrun everyone when, when they come swinging their cattle prods my way. All I'm finding is boots. Okay, okay. Besides the shotgun, I'm still only finding boots, but at least we got this to deal with people who want to go. There you go. All right, we got a little bit of clothing there. Not really a shit, but uh, screw it, mate. Shirts are optional after all, something like that. <laughs> Let's make our way east into this like massive cluster of bases, dude. I feel like the more you play this, and that's what I—that's why I like stockpiling tickets. And whoo, hello, no, thank you. I need you dead. That's why I like stockpiling tickets and actually doing this. I'll take that shirt and uh, doing this a solid amount because then, like, you, you start getting the hang of it a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if you play a bunch in a row, usually you'll kind of, like, get the flow of the game. And you'll... I don't know. I usually just feel like I do better. Like, if I ever just do one random... I hear you coming. Sorry, Anna. It's a, oh, my God. Freaking flew out the door. Yeah, that's what you were trying to do, boy. And uh, I'll save this armor for actually the late game. Right now, it's early game. We don't need that. What I need is some freaking medical supplies. That's what I like to see. I am happy. And I'm gonna loot some more stuff, cause looting is awesome. No, get out of here, mate. Nope, that's a no, ow, ow. Is this guy shooting me from there? Nope, goodbye to you too, lad. Thank you for all the guns though. I appreciate just how much all these dudes care about me. Uh, I'll make sure to eat that food up. What did you have on you? A little bit of an ump, not the greatest weapon. This though, uh, another ump. Wow, dude, we're just the ump collectors out here. Uh, another band-aid. I don't really need that knife, but so be it. Still at full health. Oi, 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 oi. Ow, ow. No, that hurts. What are you shooting, mate? Can you die already? Dear mama, what did that guy- Oh! That's a great late game weapon. And actually, this is a little bit of better armor for us. Hopefully, they keep us a bit more protected there. And uh, we need more medical supplies. Because currently, we have none. Oh, man. That's not good. Uh, I don't really know why I picked that up. I know why I picked that up. That is a great purchase, if you ask me. Even though, ow! Please die before I do. Please die. Oh, bless up, please, band-aids. Band-aids, I needed that. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Okay, we're going to start using the auger. And uh, I, I think it's about time we start hiding in some grass. 
Cause, uh, <laughs> Our survival chances are looking good. We don't have the medical supplies needed to succeed. All right, so we will just chill here. Wait for people to come and oh, please kill him before he kills me. Okay, does he have uh, anything? Yeah, I need that. Thank you. I really needed that. Let's use at least one of those up. I don't, he might have had other valuables. Dude, I saw the band-aids. That's all that I did. Right now, I'm just kind of in turtle mode, trying to turtle to victory. All right, there's only four survivors left. We're already almost in the top. Although the end usually does get ugly. Oh my god, are you serious? Freaking sawed off shock. Ah! I hate sawn off shotguns with a freaking passion just because, like, I. Would you, my, would you want me to put up with ya? And I was just outside of the top three, too. Like, come on, man. Another consolation prize? These things suck. There's nothing. I guess the sledgehammer is okay, but these things are poop. Dude, that's why, like, uh, sawn offs are not fair, because they will one hit a man. It's, or that or a revolver. I don't know. One of the two. It's just, it's not right, dude. Those should be banned out of this arena. All right. I like fairness. All right. And, unless I have a, one in my hands, in which case, uh, let's keep it legal a little bit longer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, hopefully we get a better start. Oh, great. We only have a freaking cross-country road trip until we can make our way over to one of these houses. We are not starting out good. This loot's going to be bad, dude. We're not... <laughs> it's going to go so bad. Like, at least I know I can do the melee glitch, which is kind of nifty. But I... I'm, I'm talking about taking out the baryonics, of course, when I mean the melee glitch. But uh, this is... Uh, I guess I'll equip the sledgehammer, too. I'm the naked man, half-naked man with the hat. That's my name. Never mind. I'm just a man without pantalons. And, uh, ooh, quite the upgrade in the, uh, uh, shirt department, too. Still need some shoes. No shirts, no shoes, no service. Well, I got the shirt. So just give me the shoes, boy. Give me all the shoes. Actually, no, I'll just take one pair of shoes. If you have Gucci shoes, might as well. Never had Gucci shoes, but I hear good things about them. Uh, they also have a very high price tag, so if I could get one for free, YOLO! Worst case, I'm gonna resell that puppy. There, can I do the- can I do the freaking melee glitch on this guy? I don't know. I don't think so. No, no, no. Okay, can I get a gun out of- Oh, is that a deagle? How much damage does this thing do? I don't know. Where did this guy run? Where did he run to? What? Did he just try to- Okay, hold on. You got to, uh, you gotta die there. Is this guy hiding in a- Oh, oh, my- my poor child. Execution style. All right, now then, can I please get uh, uh, another weapon to use? Because I don't want to use the deagle this entire time. Hold on, I'm gonna save this thing. What's that do? 85? Actually, like, I don't know. It's just kind of a glorified pistol. It's not like a magnum. Hallelujah. Ow, ow, ow. Hold on, we definitely got to like medicate it up here in a sec. Uh, I'll just have that ready to go. All right, let's see if I can pistol him before he kills me. All right, well, he didn't kill me, but he did some damage. We're still going to have the revolver. I say we use the deagle here for the early game. Switch on over to the revolver afterwards. We got a uh, pretty good lineup. And another one of these. Hello, hello, hello. Please die a little bit faster, buddy. Ow. Oh, no, you got the real end of the ow stick. And ow, I like what you got on you there, laddie. Oi, 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 oi. I like what you got there, too. That's the two things that I needed there. Okay. Um, what is next? Let's equip us. Uh, oh, put these things there. That's what I wanted. We ain't having a backpack, so that's a bit of a struggle. But uh, so be it. Six survivors left, dude. We do tons of damage. Honestly, at this point, I'm cool with... Oh, jumping people. We should be able to jump them real good and send them flying because this is a powerful weapon. And oh, man, this is just so... This is just marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. Is that better or is that better? AK-74 is better. The amount of first aid kits we got, like we're still gonna get screwed over by a shotgun, don't get me wrong, but... Oh no, is that a shotgun? Oh, that was! That was! Yeah, mate, that's what you get. All right, I'm saving that thing for the end game. We're at full health now. Top four. This is usually when I choke things away. So, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? Start using the Magnum a little bit. This thing's pretty nice. Uh, Make our way over to the next field of grass. And then we wait patiently or unpatiently. I mean, it doesn't really matter because we got to wait. Anyways, boop, boop, boop. Yeah, boop. Oh, no. Oh, no. Boop. Boop. Oh, no. No. Oh, down with you. Still got more medkits. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now we whip out the sawn off. They won't see this thing coming. 
Oh, it's the final two. We might get that top finish that we needed. Boom, shakalaka. Oh, are you serious, man? Get back here. Get back here. Boom. Oh, no. Boom. Oh, yeah, you're done. You're done. No. You know who ain't done. No. This guy. Star Snipe. Star Snipe ain't done. No. Star Snipe's a winner now. That's what he is. Ah. It's my victory screech. Manly. I know. Ho, oh, ho, ho, ho. That's what I needed. Now, can we get something good out of that? Like, snaps, a barrette, that's, or a shotgun? I will take that shotgun to the bank. Actually, let's see if we get a sledgehammer out of the consolation prize, too. I would. That'd be pretty dope. I could roll with a sledgehammer, honestly, all things considered. All right, or a frying pan and 10 bottles of water. Really just needed twice as much water as usual. This game knows me oh so well. Let's head on back, because we do have to, we got to kill some time anyways, because it usually takes a while for the Baryonyx to respawn. I don't know exactly how long, but I do want to kill that thing today. That is the goal, and I am a man who likes to reach the goals that he sets for myself. Like, going to basketball three times a week, dude, I'm very proud of myself. I'm being more active. It's very awesome, because if you guys don't know, I freaking love basketball. Grew up playing the sport, right? And it just feels good, even though in college it is a humongous struggle. But uh, hot diggity dog, hot diggity dog! Speaking of hot dogs and diggity, oh, I like what I see here, but it's it's been real good. On the, oh, yeah, that's really good too, but it's been real good. I don't know, I'm like not running out of breath anymore playing, making some like semi-athletic plays, at least for my standards. So uh, it's good stuff and it's fun, dude. I don't know, like normal, like I'm not a man who runs on a treadmill. You know, my girlfriend, she talks to me. She was like, you should, you should, you should just r run on a treadmill instead. I'm like, why? She's like, basketball is not a real workout. I'm like, you what, mate? You what, mate? What'd you just say, punk? What'd you say, punk? Bloody said, what'd you say, punk? I would never do that to my girlfriend, of course. I kind of love her a lot, but oh, oh, I gotta take my anger out somewhere. It's gonna be on this guy. Freaking AI in the wrong place at the wrong time. I mean, that's pretty much what he was. R.I.P. Oi! Oi, lad. Okay, usually after this guy dies, someone else usually shows up. Just, just saying. And we slay have like, okay, really? No one? No one else? Oh, my man. My, 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 my. I like what I see. Give me that upgraded shirt. Because I'm going to make history. Whenever these dudes decide to throw themselves, that's me. Oh, hello, boop. Hello, boop. Oh, rip to you. Ow, victory for me. Oh, rip to you as well there, laddie. Sorry to hear about your death there. I'll happily take that Uzi. And uh, we got, we, we might want to use this Uzi for the next couple of kills. We got the Magnum for the late game. And uh, maybe we'll still get a useful gun or two here. Because we're definitely not done looting. We still, I don't, we don't have enough weapon durability to kill everything. That is for sure. Um, I love the amount of band. Ow! No, it's game. Don't start lagging now. Game. Game. Now is the absolute worst time to, you, mate, mate, you what? You, oh my God. He, he hit me with the lag switch. That's what he did, sucker. Oh my God. What? His gun is just the laggiest thing in existence. Why did he become naked all of a sudden? I have so many questions for this game. Game, please. Don't lag me like this. Do not, do not do. I like that shotgun. That's a very nice shotgun. Ow. Ow. Why? Why do you have to do this now? What have I done to you besides killed you? A lot. I mean, you guys aren't the same people. You all have different names, but I know you're all just AI, but still. Like, what have I ever done to you? Sheesh. Jeez Louise. Down to five survivors we go. Uh, okay. Let's just loot the rest of what there is. I see you there. Oh, no, 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 no. Freaking lag, man! Oh my god, we were doing so good! I had a Magnum, I had med kits up the freaking wazoo, and... Oh my god, dude, that's what, like... Oh! <laughs> why you do this? Why you do this? Why, why couldn't you at least do that when I was in the top three? Do I look like a man who likes consolation prizes? Like, honestly. Oh, now it's freaking silky smooth. Yeah, game. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as, soon as it's an important situation, you're like, oh, beep, boop, malfunction, don't know how to be a uh, game, Jurassic survival, beep, boop, roar. I'm a dinosaur. That's all I'm here now, this freaking game, man. That's all I'm here. <sighs> I gotta, gotta calm down. I gotta just calm down. I'm Cam. I'm Cam. Flustered. 
but Cam. And I think I also spit on my phone a little bit in my uh, series of flusteredness. And now watch, it's gonna be silky freaking smooth. You know why? Cause we ain't gonna get jet. Okay, we we got a little. We got we got some stuff. Never mind. Game, is this your apology or is this a tease? Probably a tease. We're definitely like something bad's gonna happen. And uh, wow, we this is bad. Watch, this first dude's gonna have a gun. That's what's gonna happen. Cause currently I got none. I got nothing. And uh, this first guy usually shows up relatively right around now, which is a very bad sign for us. Cause <laughs> I don't wanna die. I don't even have a good melee we I, you know, I guess I could use that. I could just one, or I guess two hit ya with one of the best weapons in the game, dude. It does a hundred damage. It shoots relatively fast, solid range on it. Like it ain't no sawn off, but woo, it's absolutely marvelous. Another one. I'll actually use the weaker one now. Is this a weaker one? I don't know. Boop. No, no, no. You don't get a hit off on me. Thank you for the medical supplies, though. And uh, we got banned. Oh, this is looking too good. The game's got to start lagging now. We, we can never. We can't have nice things. No people named Star Stamp can have nice things. That's, that's a sham. It's a sham and a scam. <gasps> that reminds me. March is coming up. You know what that means? Shamrock shakes, boy. I'm sorry. I'm just very enthusiastic about mint. I really like mint flavored stuff. You know, oh my God, another one. Get out of here with your freaking thing. You want to come back for seconds? No, you don't. You want to die? <laughs> Dang, sent that dude flying. Uh, you know what I'm going to do though? I'm also going to wear the poopy pants for the time being until the going really gets rough. Uh, we use up one of them band-aids. Uh, uh, I think oh, I, I thought we lost a shirt. We need a better shirt too. That is one thing and uh, on oh, no, no, no I was gonna say honestly we could switch weapons a little bit. No, no, no get back here mate. Yeah, yeah, don't run from me All right, you done no Okay, uh, we're still in the circle. So not too much stress there Things are looking okay. I've probably passed over a backpack and I just accept that at this point uh, that that magnum's about to break, so I don't. Oh, there's a backpack. There we go. This magnum's about to break. I'm not gonna leave it in my inventory. And uh, oh, marvelous. Okay, six survivors. This is when the going really gets going. Any good guns here? <laughs> not really. Besides the the one thing. It's all right. This should be good enough to take him out. Heal up a little bit. Ooh, we'll start using that until we get down to the real finale with the magnums. We're in the circle. I like I like our position. Extra band aid in here. Just keep our ears peeled uh, for footsteps and ready to go. I see. I wish I could have these guns against the Baryonics. I wish I could go into a battle royale against that thing. All right. I'd be in a little bit of a cheeky advantage. Okay. I'm not seeing anything, dude. I feel like they always come for you. Can we please equip some freaking pants? I feel like they always come for you when you're in your inventory, man. It's just, it's what they sense it. They know they use the force against you. All we got to do is kill like two dudes. It's all we need right now. Just can that happen? Oh, well, it sounds like they're killing each other for me. I like the sound of that. I'm just going to let this uh, play out a little bit here. Oh, yeah. I'm, I, I'm, yeah, you know what? If you guys want to shoot each other, please be my guest, dude. There's a lot of shooting over there, actually. Oh, mama, we got to... Dude, is that everyone over there? I don't know. Where did this dude run? Hold on. There's even more. Oh, my God. Oh, no. All we got to do is heal. All we got to do is heal and victory is ours. These diggers has shot each other up while I was hiding in a glorified bush. That is the star snipe way of victory. Not head first into battle, but head first into a bush until the battle has a winner. And then you come in and you shoot the winner when he's hurt. That is the star snipe way. And God dang it. It makes results. Let's head on over to that inbox. Plop on open the first place and see if we get disappointed. Yeah, if you guys don't know, that is very poopy, and we're not getting any good armors out of this, so we might have to do this, uh, the, most of butt naked. But, uh, that's okay, as long as we got the healing supplies, we should be okay-ish. Yeah, okay-ish. Well, the important question is, has there anything- Oh, I should've used medical supplies before I won. Now I gotta use freaking. I gotta use these things, like, ah, meh, meh, see? We're gonna need some, uh, you know what, we might need to recruit the Pineapple Brigade here. That, or the Mango Man Arm, uh, Mar, uh, Marmy. Marmy, the Mango Marmy. They, it's just the word Army with an M in front of it. Are you back, buddy? No, he's not. Mm. We might need to use a little bit of energy to get him to spawn. 
I don't know, dude. I'm not trying to wait a bajillion years for you, Mr. Baryonyx. I got things to do. Mainly of the homework variety, for they're due. Tonight, I don't want to wait for a freaking dinosaur to decide to become unextinct. All right, well, we do have to go home here and make a, a certain holy death extinct, though, this, uh, this freaking glorified dingus. Uh, I'll just use this pistol on him first, and we'll put another weaker one in the secondary slot. Hopefully, this has the code where, like, it automatically, after we're done breaking one, if we have a weapon in the other slot, it'll automatically switch. That would be pretty nice. Maybe. All right, buddy, neighbor, hey there, ho there, hi there, neighbor. How are you doing? Where you at, buddy? I got some uh, cake for you. Definitely, it's a bullet coated. It's not. It's definitely not a bullet coated cake. It is a hundred percent normal, state of the art, uh, edible cake. Watch, you'll eat it. It'll go straight through your mouth, straight through your stomach, and you'll be like, "Mmm, delicious." I, I swear, no side effects besides uh, potentially a little bit of bleeding and a very small big chance at death. <laughs> holy death! Oh, whoa, whoa. holy death! <laughs> <laughs> Ripped to holy death. Uh, thanks for bringing me all this stuff though. Totally useless, but I, I appreciate the thoughts. You know, it's very, very kind of you. You know, it isn't kind, this Baryonyx. Not freaking popping up, man. Where are you at? How long does it take? Do you guys know how long it takes per schnapps? I feel like that should be useful info. Especially if you're trying to knock out these quests. Especially because they said there's an update coming by the end of the week. And yeah, baby. Yahar. Yahar. I don't know why I became a pirate. I, it just happens when I'm excited, you know, but they back baby and they back baby and ooh, Maybe I shouldn't have brought the valuables and when I say valuables I think you guys know I mean the things that we stole from him in the first place. Well, his dead body, but similar thought process uh, uh, We do have a l metric poop ton of mangoes. Those are kind of good first aid kits. Those are relatively solid I yeah 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 yeah. Do we have any sledgehammers or any any really strong melee weapons? Nah, that best thing we get. Oh, we do. Bless up, bless up. Okay, 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 okay. I like the way that this is going. All we gotta do is have the pineapples on standby. Probably need some more heals than just the pineapples, though. I think a stack of canned food ought to do the trick. That's two stacks of healing. I think the pineapples heal 15. Same with the canned foods. So hopefully this will be enough to get us through the struggle. Because this will definitely be a struggle. Oh, and we need a good weapon too for taking this guy out. And shotgun? Rain? Some stay dry? Others feel the pain? Shotgun rain? Yeah, I, I'll, I'll trust shotgun rain with my life. So uh, let me just kind of organize our inventory here so it's good to go. The top row will be our guns in their best order. The second row will be our healing items in a little bit of an order too. We just use the band-aid whenever we have to. And uh, let's hope that we can get some freaking sneak attacks off on this dude with my brand new pair of pantaloons, AKA my only pair of anything on right now. Cause that arm, <laughs> the, the shirt I got on, spoiler alert, that thing ain't lasting much. And ah, you know what I just realized? We gotta use energy to make it back to base to turn this thing in. That's gonna be a doozy. Oh, not a doozy that I wanna do either. Oh, get it? A doozy, do, a doozy, ah. You guys love my jokes. I know you do. All right, Baryonyx, uh, nice tail, bro. I did great, great Baryonyx, uh, but I'm gonna just go ahead and start uh, wailing on you. This thing only does around 100 damage, but all I gotta do is like adjust a little bit. And like, as soon as I pull it back all the way, oh mama, yeah, there goes that shirt. As soon as it, I don't know, like I, I'm kind of getting the timing wrong. There we go, okay, it's like when it's like all the way back, that's when you want to start the crouch usually. Yeah, 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 this is working, okay. That's what I forgot, man. It's, 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 the timing is odd, but at least we're doing like right around 100 damage per hit. So the sledgehammer should last a while. Just make sure that we don't die. Consume the pineapples, my good saw. Consumes them. And it's, it's like, I don't know if it's mid swing or either or. And a little bit of movement is good because that forces the baryonyx to have to like re aggro, which is usually a pretty good sign. Okay. Usually want them to move though, not just kind of move in that ow, way, shape, or form. Ay, 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 ay. There we go. There's the new heals. I mean, we could even try to kill him this way. You know what? YOLO. Let's try and do it, man. This thing honestly does a poop ton of damage if you do, if you play your cards right. Heal up a little bit. Oh, no. Get out of here, freaking Ornioli. 
I'm in the middle of an epic boss battle. Why are you showing up, man? You ain't epic. I hate to break it to you. How? Oh my, dude. It's like, it's like, oh no. It's like, it like lags at the worst time. And I end up doing like, I don't know. I end up missing the timing. Does he become more powerful in this stage? I don't know. Oh my god, my pants are gone. How dare you strip me of my pantaloons. Ow, 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 ow. He's also stripping me of a hell of a lot of health. Don't like that? Okay. I hope you like some shotgun rain, though. This definitely does not do as much damage, but hopefully. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we can heal up with that. Uh, this, we might have to run a little bit. We definitely will probably have to run. Unless, like, yeah, no, no, no. We need some more healing items in our, in our slots here. This is not, this is not gonna cut it. This is not gonna cut it, mate. Ah, uh, it's a risky game, and it's not a risky game I want to play. All right, BRB. BRB. We got this, though. Now, see, I don't know how, like, we just gotta do this lickety split because I don't know while you're, like, at this away screen if he regenerates during this or if he only regenerates while you're in the map. But I really don't want to find out, so I just want something. Do we have something? Dude, it's not gonna be mangoes. No way. I don't have anything better than mangoes. Are you serious right now, game? That's all the healing items to my name. Oh, mama. All right, well, it's actually, we got a bunch of first aid kits. That'll definitely be enough to make it last. Uh, let's use up... All of those things puts us back up to 90 and hopefully this will let us finish as a quest as it needs finishing. If so, I will be a very, very happy camper. If not, I will be a very, very dead camper. How much health you at there, buddy? Way too much probably. Ah, not even that bad, man. I'll take that. And I hope that you are accepting my shotgun rain. Cause you are about to die and feel the pain. Shotgun brain! Barry Onyx, three out of three, killed my mate. Oh my god, what is that? A sacrum bone? That just looks like an uh, interesting shape. That's all that I'll say. But with that, let's go turn this puppy in and let's go get ourselves a branch spank and new pair of those hunter's boots. The armors that we are trying to save up for uh, probably the wall event, man. I want to go over there pretty well fortified. I think we'll do that. We should have a couple of rather nice guns for that event, too. So, honestly, dude, doing this little quest line is a perfect preparation method. Because, especially if you get onto like, the later parts of the quest, you really, really start getting some pretty solid stuff. Uh, just like how we're getting, really, not a lot of solid stuff out of all these chests. But that's okay. And also, I'll probably make my way to the crashed car. And uh, I don't know if we'll do it today. This video has been going on for a good amount of time. But uh, I think I'll at least like walk over there. Uh, we're definitely running home though, 100%. And then I'll just end off, like I'll log off at the crashed car. So then first thing next time, boom, shaka laka, boom. We got a little bit of a crashed car that we can do. Just gotta make sure we come prepared. But dude, that thing compared to the boss battles we just had to knock out is a breeze. Not even worried. It's a it's a breeze like freaking Drew, man. It's just it's it's just <laughs> see the wordplay there. Dude, wordplay is my thing. Actually, we didn't even have to use more. We, we didn't have to use the med kits we took out. Well, that's uh Something All right, give me the booties. Thank you for the booties and now you need three t-rex eggs Yeah, see I think I'm Maybe and I mean like a Maybe like not even just like oh, maybe like a ah, like a reluctant like maybe I have like two on me I Probably one. There's a chance at two. We'll find out. We'll also go ahead and freaking take all these pineapples and start cooking these puppies up for next time. And there you go. Maybe toss some more wood in there too so we can get more pineapples. But uh, over here, no, we just have one T-Rex egg. T-Rex eggs are relatively hard to find unless we want to try our luck and start getting some hunting trophies. But uh, dude, these are, these are pretty nice. I don't know. Maybe maybe for next episode uh, let me know in the comment section if this thing is still going strong for if this quest if it's not when it's not time for the next episode and the quest hasn't ended then i'll definitely be down to plop on open some hunting trophies and hopefully get some good luck with the t-rex eggs but so that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for dude this thing actually has some really nice stuff first aid kits bandages i'd roll with that even the steak and grilled pineapple promising but so yeah that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for me for now thank you guys all time for watching i have yourselves nothing but the most fan fantastic day in the world and hopefully we return next episode into a little bit of a update 1.1 wouldn't that be absolutely marvelous i think so and i agree but uh, yeah, excited for that i'm just excited to hear that hopefully you guys absolutely do continue have fan fantastic days they don't get better from here on out but thank you guys all time for watching have yourselves an awesome one and i'll talk to you in the next one see ya